associating with the humble. Good morning, and welcome to the Mana to Live By. One day at a time. Five minute devotionals. Today is September 20th. The scripture portion for our reading today is Romans chapter 12 and verse 16. Do not set your mind on high things, but associate with the humble. The natural tendency is to want to hobnob with the upper crust. In every human heart, there is the lust to associate with those who are prominent, wealthy, and aristocratic. So, Paul's advice in Romans 12 16 really cuts across the grain of nature. He says in the NIV version, do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people of low position. There are no castes in the church. Christians should live above class distinctions. A story that illustrates this is told of Fred Elliott. One morning, he was having family devotions at the breakfast table when he heard a noisy clatter in the yard. He realized that the garbage collector had arrived. So he put down his open Bible on the table, went to the window, opened it, called out a cheery greeting to the scavenger, then returned to the table to resume the devotions. To him, it was just as sacred to greet the garbage collector, as it was to read the Bible. There was another servant of the Lord, who took our text quite literally. Jack Wartson conducted a Bible camp each summer at Scroon Lake, New York. At one of the adult conferences, a guest showed up with a serious physical impairment. Because he could not control the muscles of his mouth, he was not able to swallow all his food. Much of it came back out and fell down on the newspapers with which he covered his chest and lap. The scene was not conducive to pleasant eating, and as a result, this man usually sat at a table by himself. Because of the pressures of his work, Jack Wurtson, was often late arriving at the dining hall. Whenever he appeared at the door, people would wave to him excitedly, beckoning him to come and sit at their table. But Jack never did. He always went to the table where this guest was eating alone. He condescended to a man of low estate. A Christian general was once seen talking to a poor old woman. Friends remonstrated with him, saying, you ought to consider your rank. The general answered, what if my lord had considered his rank? Choice gleanings. In his poem, For a That and a That, Robert Burns reminds us that, in spite of a lowly position in life, a man is. A man for all that? He says that the man of independent mind can laugh at the tinsel show of fools in silk. When we think of how our Savior condescended to us in our low estate, it is absurd that we should fail to do so with others. Let's pray. Lord, when I consider how you stoop down to save me in my low estate, I bow down, praise you, and worship you. I pray, Lord, that you grant me the willingness to identify with those who are lowly and be a witness to them of my Savior. In Jesus' name, I pray, Amen. Associating with the Humble Today's Manna, originally written by William MacDonald Adapted and developed as Manna to Live By, 5-Minute Devotionals for You Too, by John Benjamin. For previous day's Manna, please click the channel link given in the description box below. Thank you, and to God be the glory.